Broncos Jets is the next game that we're talking about here. This one's in New York. Broncos coming off a big win down in Tampa against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, matchup that matters, Carmen. What do you got? It, this is an obvious one, but it's Garrett Wilson and Patrick Sam. <laughs> so that's a big one, see, no doubt. It's a big one, uh, which is it's really interesting, too, because while we see that Garrett Wilson is climbing the ladder to becoming Aaron Rodgers' most trusted target, um, he still doesn't have the completion rate that you would, or the completion percentage that you would hope that he does. 57.7 catch rate, and that ranks 123rd in the league. That's not exactly what you want out of your wide receiver one, um, despite the fact that he's targeted the 11th most uh, of any receiver. So you need, you know, some of those to start hitting. And I don't put that all on Garrett Wilson, let's be clear. I put a lot of that on the fact that they just haven't had, he hasn't had a lot of reps with Aaron Rodgers. It is a very uh, tough job being Aaron Rodgers' most trusted receiver, and it takes a lot to ga- gain that trust. Um, and there are so many specific things that come with the routes that Aaron Rodgers wants run, the options that exist in each of these, the the infamous hand signals, all that kind of stuff. There is truth to all of that. He knows exactly what he wants. He is a the commander in chief on the field. Uh, no matter how much you know you want to say Nathaniel Hackett's in charge of that offense, it's Aaron Rodgers. And so you need yeah. you need to get Garrett Wilson. Uh, he just needs to be a little bit more in, not even involved because he's getting targeted, but he needs to start kind of making good on those targets. Yeah. And that, that'll that go into my plus factor. So I think it's probably good that I just bring that up here. Aaron Rodgers is the plus factor in this game because I've been so impressed with how patient Rodgers has been to yes. simply take what defenses are giving him and being willing mm-hmm. to attack them where they are weakest. And sometimes that's not the flashiest thing in the world. Sometimes it's not the big bomb to Mike Williams or Garrett Wilson. or so it's, it's just the back shoulder throws or the throws over the middle. And you know what? Sometimes that also means... They're going to punt more than Jets fans probably love, but they look really efficient on offense, specifically on third and fourth down. Aaron Rodgers, 91.4 PFF passing grade on third and fourth down. That's first amongst quarterbacks on third and fourth down. He's 20 for 28, 272 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions, zero turnover worthy plays. He has that interception this year, but it did not count as a turnover worthy play. So the way that he is taking care of the football and how patient that he is to me gives this Jets offense a team to be, or just offense a chance to be efficient enough to, to basically beat anybody. And I'll go into my matchup that matters. Now it's the Broncos offensive line versus the Jets defensive line. There were some worries about the Jets defensive line because they didn't really come out of the gate firing on all cylinders. The Son Reddick story during the offseason was a big one. Not having him, not having somebody to replace Bryce Huff. Then Jermaine Johnson gets hurt. Now he's out for the year with an Achilles injury. The guys have been able to step up. Quinn Williams got nine pressures. Will McDonald's got nine pressures. Javon Kinlaw has got eight pressures himself. They're going up against a Broncos offensive line that's paid a lot of money. And ain't really giving the returns that the Broncos would want them to give because they are 30th overall in pass blocking grade at a uh, at a 50.7. No, sorry, that's just overall blocking grade at a 50.7. I believe they're a little bit better uh, in pass blocking than they are run blocking. But still, this is an offensive line that has not been up to their billing or certainly how much they're getting paid to be able to block in front of Bo Nix. So it was better against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but I think Nix was also a little bit better. And to be honest, I, I just don't think that Todd Bowles had his fastball against Sean Payton. Feels like he never does. I mentioned this I was gonna on, say <laughs> I mentioned this on the review show. Evan Winters from A to Z Sports pointed this out. Sean Payton's seven and zero against Todd Bowles. Like he just yeah. he, he scored he scored thirty points on on Bowles defense so many times since uh, since twenty nineteen. And so you kind of just look at that matchup and say, man, does he just know Todd Bowles really well? I think he we'll does. be able to see. How what would we be able to answer that a little bit more when we see how the Broncos uh, offense does against this Jets defense? But who is your plus factor for this matchup? Yeah, and it's on that Broncos defense. In fact, it's uh, Zach Allen, who has kind of emerged. He's had 15 pressures over the last two weeks. He's kind of emerged as like their number one pass rusher. And this isn't a bad Broncos defense either. And that's like their fourth in sacks per pass attempt and, and uh, percentage rate. And then you've got... Overall, they're about the third rank defense as far as yards per game allowed, yards per play allowed. Um, they're top 10 in third down, fourth down, uh, just outside the top 10 in, in red zone percentage. So these are this is a good unit that I don't think we're talking enough about because they don't really have the stars that perhaps other defenses do that are doing this well. But the fact that the Denver Broncos are kind of clamping down, it's going to be a test for the New York Jets, for Aaron Rodgers. Um, it's going to be really interesting. And I think, and Zach Allen is kind of leading the way. 
Yeah, I think that that's a really good shout out because, uh, you know, I was updating the team needs for the mock draft simulator earlier this week. And when I got to the Broncos, I was like, oh, interior defense fly, definitely. And then I looked up and I was like, all right, Zach Allen. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. see you. Good for you. So you're right. Very I think quietly. He is, he is right. He is playing very well. And I'm glad that you're giving him uh, his flowers there because I think that he we love deserves the trench, it. guys. 